Is Fantasy Star Universe still active? We're gonna find that out in this video. We're also gonna do an overview, check out the updates, the cash up, the monetization, the features, and check out what's happening to Fantasy Star Universe nowadays. Where can you play? And we're gonna do a Fantasy Star Universe gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Fantasy Star Universe is a JRPG with MMO elements. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Fantasy Star Universe? It's an instance-based action RPG with MMO elements. In Fantasy Star Universe, players have a variety of activities and gameplay options to enjoy. The game offers a mix of single-player and multiplayer content, allowing you to engage in different experiences. In the single-player story mode, you can embark on a solo adventure through the game's main storyline. Follow your character's journey as a guardian, exploring the Grawl system and uncovering the mysteries that threatens its peace. Now, going to the old FantasyStarUniverse.com website through the Wayback Machine, they describe the game as an action RPG with story mode for single player and online network mode for multiple players. Now, one of the notable features of Fantasy Star Universe is its robust online multiplayer mode allowing players to team up and adventure together in a persistent online world. This aspect of the game fostered a strong sense of community and camaraderie among players, encouraging them to embark on quests, tackle formidable foes, and explore the vast universe of Fantasy Star Universe as a united force. Now, Fantasy Star Universe was first released in Japan in August 31, 2006, and it's developed by Sonic Team, a Japanese video game development company owned by Sega and they developed a variety of Sonic titles and they're also the guys behind Sega's first Fantasy Star series with online functionality, Fantasy Star Online. Now, upon PSU's release, Fantasy Star Universe received a mixed reception from both critics and players. The game's ambitious attempt to blend single-player and story mode with a robust online multiplayer experience garnered praise for its innovative concept and expansive universe. Players appreciated the opportunity to team up with others in a persistent online world fostering a strong sense of community and camaraderie. However, not all aspects of Fantasy Star Universe reception were positive. Some players and critics found the mission and quest to be repetitive, leading to a sense of monotony during extended play sessions. And also technical issues such as server stability and connection problems affected the overall online experience for players. Now, Fantasy Star Universe utilized a monetization model typical of many MMORPGs and online multiplayer games of its time. To access the core content and start playing, Players had to purchase the base game of Fantasy Star Universe. This initial purchase provided access to the single-player story mode and offline play. However, to experience the full range of features and content, players were required to subscribe to a monthly fee. In addition to the subscription model, Fantasy Star Universe released several expansion packs over time, each introducing new content, quests, and gameplay features. Players were required to purchase these expansion packs separately to access the new content they offered. These expansion packs acted as an additional source of revenue for the game, enticing players with fresh experiences and expanded horizons within the universe. And to, how can I say this, further enhance the quote-unquote experience of players, the game eventually added microtransactions. Players could spend real money to purchase various in-game items such as cosmetic outfits, accessories, and consumables. Now, here's an update on what's happening to Fantasy Star Universe nowadays. It's still officially abandoned by Sega, but you can play it on private servers. It's actually somewhat active. Players are going in and out of the headquarters doing their own thing. Now, to show you more of the features and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay guys, here's the network mode server selection. So there's two servers, the primary online server and experimental. So we're gonna choose the server one. And here is the character creation. So let's start with the races. We got the humans over here, the human, the cast, and the beast. We're gonna play as a cast. There goes the male cast. And we're gonna play as a female cast. There he goes. Dukes. Now character customization, guys. We got 18 faces over here. Wow. Okay, so the other ones are pretty much robo faces. Let's pick the human face. This one. He's got a sharing gun. Okay, now eyes. 
How many eyes? I want the Sharingan. No eyebrows. There it goes. We're not gonna change that. Then eyelashes. Ears. What's the ear? Oh, it's the robo ear. The robo ear is changing. Okay, let's pick that one. Now head type. Oh, okay. So the head type is the hairstyle. Let's rotate this. How can we rotate our character? Control. Hold control. And there it goes. Our character is rotating. I wanna see the hairstyle. So let's try the hairstyle again. No, I don't like that. How about this? Kinda liking this. So let's go. Now body color. Oh, this one is the skin tone. So let's be blue. Now, proportion. Oh, this is the height. Okay, we can be really small and really freaking tall. So let's just be in the 60%-ish tall. Okay. Next, more character creation. Okay, let's check this one out. Arms. Oh, okay, this is the cast parts. I'm kind of liking the cast with human features. <laughs> okay, so torso. Check out the torso. How about this one? Let's rotate our character so we can see it properly. There it goes. Now legs. Let's pick this one. Now main color is red. Of course. Sub color. Black should be good enough. Now voice type. There goes the first. Okay, we're not gonna sample everything. Let's just pick the first voice type. And then there goes the pitch. Next. Oh, okay, I guess this is it. Let's name our character. Finish. And we are in the game. Controls, guys. Okay, we can move with WASD. And we cannot use the mouse, guys. Man, that's pretty odd. <laughs> okay, we can't use the mouse. So how do we rotate the camera here? I'm trying everything. Okay, there it goes. We hold the shift and then use the arrow keys to rotate the camera. We can also use the left arrow key to rotate the camera angle to where our character is facing. There it goes. So can we jump? Nope. For some reason, when I press space, there's some kind of uh, Japanese letters over here. Let's try typing. Oh, that's the chat. Okay. It's not enter. Nope. Okay, so check our bag for beginner support boxes. There's no beginner support boxes. Over. How do we open the bag here? I, B. Oh my god. Okay, let me check out the website. <laughs> oh, okay. So, F1. Player information. Okay, let's check out our player information. Status. So, we are a level 1 cast ranger. Guys, you can change classes in here if I remember correctly. The last time I played Fantasy Star Universe is on the PlayStation 2. This is an old game. And I think I played this offline. Yeah, I, mean, I loved playing this game in before. But I hardly remember the game anymore. Plus, I didn't play on PC. Because if I remember correctly, you need internet connection to play this game offline mode. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's pick. Oh man, where is our bag? F2. There it goes. Weapons. We got a saber, a rifle, and handgun. Is that it? Car line. I think this is the armor. Monomate. Moon Atomizer Goggles Beseta, which is our money. Is that it? Oh, I think there it goes. Torso and legs. I think this is the cast parts. Okay, so we don't have anything to help us. Now let's check out the map. Pressing M. And how do we check out the map here? Okay, let's not check out the map. So we are a cast ranger. Let's explore, guys. As you see, there are fake people over here. <laughs> Walking around. No, that's not the place. I kind of remember this. We need to go up. So this is the first area over here, the first floor. This is where people start. So let's go to the second floor and according to the text over there, it's the shopping mall. It's probably the place where we can buy weapons, scales, armors, and all those good stuff. Okay, let's check out what is this. Oh, room decoration. No, that, that. Let's go to the weapon place, the weapon shop. Synthesis, nope. Weapon upgrades. Okay, let's check out the weapon upgrades. Just a quick look, guys. Oh yeah, there it goes. This is very nostalgic. I didn't play this on HD. Last time I played this, I was playing this on CRT. <laughs> I think the resolution was 480p. Something like that, maybe lower. Okay, anyway, let's go to the next floor. Just remember that the second floor is for buying stuff, general goods. Now, the third floor is another shopping mall. What? Okay. By the way, guys, this is the main hub of this game. I forgot the name of this city. Ah, I don't want to guess. <laughs> Oh, I remember this. This place is... Oh, look at this. Somebody playing. As you see, the game is very active. I kind of remember this. This place, the second... This third floor over here is for costumes, guys. And we can't really do that because we just started playing the game. Look at this. People playing. That's nice. Okay, now. Fourth floor. PPT. I think this is the place where we do the missions. Where we accept missions. Ah, uh, yeah. There it goes. I think we can do missions over there. At that cube over there. Yeah, with that NPC. But we're not gonna do that yet because I'm gonna show you guys the HQ where people gather up. And here it goes. The Guardian's headquarters. This is where PSU players, you know, hang out, talk to each other. As you see, there it goes. There's a noob. 
Zoko, Blitzkrieg, and Tony, of course. Look at his costume. You know what's good about this game is you don't need to think about money. <laughs> you just play this game and get everything by just playing. Those were the good old times. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can change class over here. Look at this character. She's too small. Man, okay, anyway. How do we interact with this character over here? Okay, it's enter. There goes the classes. We got hunters and we're a ranger. Next class is force, fight gunner, fight gunner. Okay, anyway, gun taker, war taker, forte fighter, forte gunner, forte taker, pro trancer, acro fighter, acro taker, fight master, gun master, master force, and acro master. We're gonna be a ranger. Okay, we're already a ranger. Okay. So as you can see, guys, people are playing this game. But to be honest with you, you don't need other people here. <laughs> this is just an added feature. You know, you can meet people, talk to them, and all those good stuff. For the most part, I played this game on story mode. Okay, so let me show you guys a mission. And maybe the combat controls. Oh, look at the costume of this one. Nice. Okay, let's go to the PPT spaceport. Man, look at this. <laughs> people running around. And there it goes. Linear line platform. And there goes the mission counter, guys. And what's happening here? Nothing's happening. I think the game is lagging or something. Maybe a delay. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Now we can select a mission. Selecting a mission. Unsafe passage. And for some reason, we can select the others. If I remember correctly, guys, these letters over here are difficulty. So, passage C is the probably the normal or easy mode. Okay, anyway, let's do this. Select a mission. Yes. Start mission. And there it goes. Again, controls, guys. Combat controls. So how do we attack? Okay, so we attack with the arrow keys. When I press down, we're doing basic attacks. Uh, according to this, we got a gun. How do we use the gun? Oh, there it goes. When I'm pressing up key, we're raising our gun. How do we shoot? Oh, wow. It's also down. <laughs> That's pretty odd. Okay, when I press E, there's some kind of a sub -ballet. Let's try using this frozen shot over here. Oh, there it goes. Now we have a rifle. Let's try using it. Ooh. Nice. Okay. We are now shooting the enemies. Like in this, they can't even come close to me and they're being frozen. How, how is the lock on over here? Ah, there it goes. It's the left arrow key. If you want to lock on, you need to hold the left arrow key. Feels odd. Oh man, what's happening here? Okay, anyway, no, I think the left arrow keys makes us strafe. Look at this. We can do this when we're holding the left arrow key. You destroy all these enemies. And I remember this is real fun, you know? But the ESO 2 New Genesis is, you know, arguably more fun than this. But this is very nostalgic when hearing that music. It's transporting me back. Let's go. What's happening here? Okay. I'm not yet used to the controls. Shoot them all. Where's the ammunition here? I think we're using up the blue bar when we're using this rifle. Okay, now let's try using the other weapons. Let's try the saber and handgun. Let's go. Let's hack and slash the enemies. Let's try using... Ugh. The handgun. Because we're finishing up the enemies. When they get close, it's like... Let's try hacking and slashing them. Man, the saber is not that good. <laughs> Might as well use the rifle. Because the rifle is very strong. Okay, let's change. I don't like that. Look at this. The rival is very strong. Why use that saber? Useless. Okay, loot, loot. Hey, wait a minute. Can we attack these cubes over here? Ah, yes. We can get loot. What's that? What did we get? Oh, it's not showing. Okay, more enemies. Eliminate them before they get close. What's happening here? Our attacks is very strong. Ooh, 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 ooh. Charging me, huh? 
Combat is action, by the way, guys. Just in case you're wondering. This is not time target. This is a very rudimentary action. Let's proceed. And where are we now? We're some kind of... I think this is the pit stop. Yeah, we can maybe resupply here. Let's interact with this crystal over here. Which point do you want to transfer to? Cancel. We're not going to the lobby. Let's go. Proceed. And more enemies. Put them down. Man. Uh, I think this is best played on a controller because I don't remember having troubles with the controls on my PS2. My PS2, by the way, is still alive. <laughs> Uh, man, not exactly. <laughs> the optical drive is gone. I managed to run games there by plugging a USB. Yeah, so it's still working. I occasionally play on my PS2 playing Red Dead Revolver. Me and my cousins play Red Dead a lot. It's fun. I actually want a new CRT TV for my PlayStation 2, but I can't find a CRT that's new. <laughs> or a good modern television for playstation 2 i haven't researched that if there is a new kind of tv for old school consoles i still have my older consoles man getting charged here stop talking for a bit finish them Ooh. let's finish this guys is that it where are the other enemies Ooh, there he goes. Spawn in front of me, huh? Move back away. Finish them off. Die, bro. Okay, I'm having fun now. It's just I'm not used to the controls. I'm thinking I need to find a way to make a controller work here. Let's hope <laughs> it's not very troublesome because usually on these types of ports, the controller setup is a nightmare. Okay, we got a key card. What's that supposed to do? Oh, there he goes. There's a terminal over here. Lock deactivated. Now what? Move forward. Where's the boss fight? Another. What is this? Pit stop again? But now there's a new one. Block two. Nope. Cancel. Let's proceed to the next room. And more enemies. There's hardly any variety here. Finish them all off. You can get skills here, guys, by just looting them if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while. And another locked room, and there's a terminal over there. Nothing's popping out. Ooh. There we go. I think we need to go over here. Try attacking these boxes over here. Give you some loot. Die, mate. Mono, mate. Hey, wait a minute. How do we use items over here? <laughs> okay, anyway, we don't need to use items. Ah! You appeared on top of me, huh? Keep punting them down. I do remember when I was playing this game, I think I'm having trouble using the super skills. Each race over here guys got supers. The cast can use some kind of a, you know, super laser attack something. Let's finish this. This is a fun game. You know, what's good about this now today is this is totally free. I don't know if they accept donations or whatever. What is that? I heard something. Another key card. Let's go. I think that's it. There goes the terminal. Let's use the card. Lock deactivated. More enemies. Man, man more of the same thing. Is this it? Where's the boss? Okay, this is easy mode. Yeah. And trial cleared, that's it. Made it through the access corridor. And that's Fantasy Star Universe in 2023. I'd say it's active, but to be honest, this game was never an online experience for me. I enjoyed this very much on the PlayStation 2. 
And actually, all I could remember is the feeling of having fun when I was playing this. Anyway, if you haven't played it, check it out. It's free. Just use Google and it's on the first page. And guys, do you want to see the latest free-to-play MMORPG news? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Game Hardcore. See you in the next one.